guys and gals, Buffalo here. A few weeks ago, I posted a video patterning some turkey loads out of this TriStar Viper G2 and 410. I was patterning these tungsten super shot loads by Federal. Great ammunition. Really turns this shotgun into a viable option as a 40 yard turkey gun. There was a time, I know here in Kentucky, where 410 wasn't even legally an option as a turkey gun. But because of the advancements in ammunition, those laws have changed. So I always check your hunting laws before you take, take your gun out hunting. But now in Kentucky, you can, you can turkey hunt with 410. I had that question a lot in that last video. And it's because of the advancements in the ammunition. Now, I was using a Carlson's choke, specifically designed for the tungsten super shot. These little tri-stars take the Beretta Benelli mobile choke style, which I think is awesome. All these guns keep coming out with new choke systems. It just don't make no sense to me. We can just keep using what we've already got. No use reinventing the wheel. But a lot of people saw that video. The marketing folks at TriStar saw that video. They said, hey, Buffalo, you know, that's a wing shooting shotgun. Not really set up for turkey hunting. We're now offering a, a 410 shotgun that is dedicated to turkey hunting. Would you be interested in taking a look at one? So that's what I've got here today. And they have done a really good job. They've nailed down all the features that I would want on a little 410 turkey gun like this. Now at this time, this is just a test and evaluate gun. It's not my shotgun. When I'm done with it, I can either send it back or I'll have the option of purchasing it. And to be honest with you, I've already just about made up my mind that I'm gonna buy this shotgun. It's a good looking little gun. It's got the Cerakote receiver and barrel in bronze, they call it. It's like a greenish brown. Mossy oak bottom lens camouflage stocks. Got your swivel studs. Of course, it comes with a turkey choke installed and three more chokes. We'll go over those in a minute. Fiber optic bead. The receiver is drilled and tapped. I know that's a biggie for a lot of turkey hunters. They like to use a red dot or even a low powered scope, but it is drilled and tapped and comes with a low profile Picatinny reel, your mounting screws, and even your wrenches. All you need is a couple of drops of blue thread locker and you're good to go. Rubberized pistol grip, cross bolt safety, rubber recoil pad, not a really soft recoil pad, but it's a 410. Don't have a lot of recoil there anyway. But they've done a really good job putting this thing together. I'm pretty happy with it. The pistol grip. I'm not a big fan of pistol grips on shotguns in general, but on a turkey gun, man, it makes a lot of sense. If you've got a turkey out there and you're calling at him, you don't know he shuts up, he's not gobbling, you don't know how close he is, and you're sitting here waiting at the ready, you've got this rested across your knees, this is as comfortable as can be. If you don't have that pistol grip and you're sitting here like this, you're waiting on him, that's not quite as comfortable. This makes a lot of sense on a turkey gun. And that rubberized grip, it's got a good feel to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just a, just a nice, nice turkey gun setup. You got your fiber optic bead. You've heard me say in the past that I'm not a big fan of fiber optics on shotguns. That's on wing shooting shotguns, again, this is set up for turkey hunting. You shoot this more like a rifle than you do a shotgun. You actually take aim, you're, you're focused on your front sight, whereas with a wing shooting shotgun, you're focused on your target. So you're shooting this more like a rifle, and I do like a fiber optic on a turkey gun. Uh, like I said, you could even mount a red dot or a low power scope, whatever floats your boat there. The choke tubes, it comes with the turkey choke installed. And this little black box comes comes in the box with the gun. This is your, that's your 410 chokes. And these, like I say, these are the Beretta Benelli mobile choke style. And it comes with a modified, a full, and an improved cylinder. And speaking of that, this makes a fantastic little slug gun. 
for 410 slugs. Put you an improved cylinder or cylinder choke in the barrel, little low powered scope or red dot. Man, you talk about a little slug shooting shotgun. In this little box, you also get your choke tube wrench. And your shim kit. You've heard me say in the past, or at least a lot of you have heard me, every modern shotgun should come with a shim kit. You should be able to at least semi-custom fit that shotgun to yourself. It'll make a world of difference in your, on a wing shooting shotgun especially, not so much on the turkey gun, but on a wing shooting shotgun, I've got this one shimmed. I've got a little, little cast off of the stock that pushes it away from my face. I've got, I've got a head like a five gallon bucket anyway. So it's hard for me to get my head down on a shotgun like this. I usually prefer a little more drop and a little cast, a little cast off, I should say. But on a turkey gun, not so much. I probably won't shim this turkey gun. And the reason is, I don't know how many times that I've been set up, imagine a big tree here or a bale of hay or whatever. And I'm expecting this turkey to come in over here. And he comes in the back door. So I have to ease down, get around that bale of hay, and take him left-handed. If I've got a lot of cast off on this shotgun, it makes it really hard to get my face down close enough to shoot left-handed. So it doesn't happen every spring, but at least every few springs, I take a turkey shooting left-handed. So I probably won't, won't add any cast off to this shotgun. So that's a quick look at it. Let's take it out and do some shooting with it. I'm gonna loosen it up with some three inch Magnum Winchester Super X number four birdshot. It does come plugged for hunting purposes to hold two rounds in the magazine tube. Of course, for other purposes, you can remove that plug and it'll hold four of the two and a half inch shells in the magazine tube or three of the three inch. And this is some Winchester AA number nine shot target loads. Just because it's set up for turkey hunting doesn't mean we can't try a few aerial targets with it. I've took the turkey choke out, put the improved cylinder in. Let's see if I can't hit these three targets. All right, while I've got the improved cylinder choke in the shotgun, I've got a target set up at 50 yards right there. I want to run three of these Brennicky 410 slugs, three inch. These Brennicky slugs are the best 410 slugs I've tried. Haven't shot slugs in this shotgun before, first time. Sometimes there's some a learning curve, figuring out where to hold. Let's see if I can make some hits. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So now I've shown some of the versatility of this little shotgun. Let's set up a turkey target and pattern some of that TSS through it. Okay, I've got the factory supplied turkey choke installed. I'm going to drop one of these federal TSS loads in. I've got a turkey target set up at 30 yards from where I'm standing. A turkey head tar uh, target. Let's see what this pattern looks like. I 
I'll walk down and get that target. These are Birchwood Casey pregame targets. Much easier to see the pattern. You can see a pattern was most densest in this area. Looks pretty good. That is certainly a dead turkey. Let's see what the Carlson's choke tube will do in this shotgun. See if it looks any different than this. All right, I've got the Carlson's aftermarket TSS choke tube installed. Another Federal TSS. Same distance, 30 yards from this spot right here. Let's see if these pattern any differently than the factory turkey choke. I'll go get that target and we'll have a look at it. So this is the, sorry if I got out of frame there. This is the Carlson's. This is the factory supplied turkey choke. The Carlson's may be a little more even. But again, this is the Carlson's. This is the factory. But I don't see a whole heck of a lot of difference. I think that factory tube, turkey choke tube would be just fine. You guys can decide that on your own by looking at them right here. Carlson's factory supplied. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think was, uh, which one you think looks better as far as the pattern goes. Look about equal to me. Okay, so this is clearly marketed as a turkey gun, but as you can see, you could do, this could fill several different roles. It would make a great little squirrel gun. Also a good little, gun to shoot slugs out of and it would make a great little turkey gun now these aren't perfect out of the box I, this one had some blemishes on it got a place here where the camo just didn't take the hydro dip or however they did that and it had a place here beside the site pretty deep little scratch so uh, they're made in turkey so it's a turkish turkey gun the the turkey shotguns have gotten a lot better over the years no doubt about that i've said that in previous videos and this one seems to be another good one that other tristar 410 i've got we've took it sporting clays we've took it uh, a little bit of everything with that gun and it's been flawless for me now i have gotten feedback from a few viewers who has had uh, feeding issues and things like that but i i haven't had that issue so i can only report on what i have had and with the samples that i have gotten all in all, I think they're pretty good little shotguns. Now this one comes in, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, it comes in at just under six pounds, according to my scale. And something that I really liked that I didn't really notice before I started shooting was this bolt handle. I love that bolt handle design. I bought one almost just like that for my Beretta Extrema 2 12 gauge. Some of you guys may remember that video. So with this one, I don't have to buy an aftermarket one that I like. It's already on there. It's, just, it's really easy to get a hold of. So looking on their website, this thing has an MSRP of $715 at this time. I would expect the store price to be around 500 give or take uh, that's just my guess on it but dandy little shotgun that can do a lot of things and do do a lot of things pretty well not trying to sell you guys anything i show on this channel i'm not trying to sell it to you i'm just giving you a look at it and helping you decide if it's something that you're interested in but that's all i got and i'll talk with y'all again soon